Here we go then, weekend stream. Happy Friday, everybody. We are ready to go with season four at Kingstonian. We are still here at times last season. Looked a little bit dicey, as if maybe we could have got called into the boardroom, but we averted catastrophe. We've had a summer of mm, mediocre rebuilding. Mediocre at best, I would probably say. We could even be described as weaker than we were last season. The budgets have been massively trimmed. We've had to work hard just to get a squad together, to be brutally honest. I think we are a few backups short. We're going to see how we get on when we play our first game of the season today. But forget Football Manager. We have plenty more to discuss as well. It's the final instalment of selecting our all-time best ever French players to have played in the Premier League era. And my goodness, we have saved the best, maybe the toughest until last, because we're going to try and select that midfield that is going to complete our lineup. And what a lineup it is already, by the way. We have Barthez, World Cup winner. We have Desailly, Blanc, LeBuff, World Cup winners. We have Perez, Henri, World Cup winners. Then we have Ginola and Cantona, mm, pretty much international pariahs, to be brutally honest. But. They were incredible players in the Premier League era and we're going to bolster our squad with three central midfielders today that you are going to vote on. And who knows, maybe next week we might even pitch our squad of Gallic intergalactic stars against our all-time Africa Premier League 11 and you might even decide who's going to win. However, we have more news as well. Potentially grave news. We are streaming this afternoon, but because I'm in the UK and we have had the merest dusting of snow overnight, the schools are closed, which means there are three young llamas in the house. Now, one of them, the eldest, should be in online lessons. That should be fairly forgiving on the bandwidth, but the younger two who are at a different school they have aspirations of gaming themselves with their friends online this afternoon. That could wreak havoc with our plans. You'll have to let me know as the stream progresses whether we are all in working order. And if we're not, I will have to head out there and cut short their frivolities. And they can sit and stare at a wall until we have got our season underway. Let's see what rather fine folk we've got in this afternoon. Sam Ramsdale, first in, quickest off the mark. Welcome in, Sam. Nathan, always a pleasure to see you. Happy weekend to you. Salty B, Weatherspoon's profits are going to be in turmoil if you're at home this afternoon, aren't they? We've got Sean Paul with us. We've got Laz with us. Isaac, today is the day. Isaac, this is where we're going to experience the fruits of our labours, my friend. We've analysed the data. We have made tactical changes on the base of our data analysis. Isaac and I, by the way, are putting together a little video for the manager's seat, along with Mike, who may be along later on. And today we're going to see whether all of that data analysis, Isaac, has worked. Who else we got with us? Uh, we've got uh, Rugio. Rugio, give me a Norfolk update. Have you got more than a light dusting? Are you snowed in? Are you okay? Or was it an absolute deluge? Let's go further afield. Let's go north to York. JM Thoughts is with us. A fabulous, fabulous individual. Hope you're well, Thoughtsy. Hope Wimbledon's game is on for tomorrow. Let me know who they're playing. Joshua Brown, everybody's favourite FM Llama series aficionado. He knows more about my early series than I do. Come on, Joshua. It's time for the weekend. Give me your top three players from series on this channel gone by. Would love to hear them. Got no games coming in. Are we in the snow over on the Emerald Isle? Got no game or are you well? Belag is here. First time in Belag. Well, you're nothing short of a warmly welcomed. Hope you're very well. We've got Borislav Borisov. Can you advise? Oh, goodness me, Borislav. Straight in, aren't we? 
straight in with a team in Syria to manage. We'll start with that, Borislav. Uh, we got Robbie in unbeaten season. <laughs> unbeaten season. Oh, let me know, by the way. I'm going Robbie on that, but there is only one B. It could be Roby. Let me know how you prefer it pronounced when we're on stream. Like to get things right. No snow for JM. Rook. Are we? Come on, Rook. Let's not ask beginners questions there. Are we going with God's own formation? Yes. Yes, we are. Isaac, if it all goes wrong, it's absolutely not your fault. You are... Your teaching of how to analyze data was perfect. My interpretation of it, hmm, open to debate. Uh, Jam Thor's Doncaster. If it's like it is in York, it will be fine. Have I missed some Doncaster speak there? We've got Andre in. Won't be long here. Just wanted to pop in and say, well, say hello, Andre. Thank you for popping along. Ruggio, oh, change to rain. All clear in your little part of the world. Plenty of snow for Ireland and Junior. Well, let's go a little bit further north and got no game is in Ireland. How is it in the north, Junior? Uh, let's see. Whether we've got snow updates there. Let's get over into the game, shall we? Because we need to have a little look at Siri at, I believe, for our friend Boris Slav. Now, look, obviously, I don't want to spend oodles of time in the stream discussing save ideas. I, ta I take that back. I take that. Uh... Rob, Robbie is how you say it, but either is, well, look, you're in charge, Robbie, so we'll, we'll go with whatever you say. Workout time for Rook, it always is workout time for Rook. Enjoy your 45 minutes of exercise. We've jumped in, Borislav. No, do not apologize for that question. I need very little encouragement to abandon my save, Borislav, and start looking at save ideas. You know it's my passion. It's why most people come to this channel. So you're looking for a team in... Uh, in Serie A or B, well, Serie B is going to take care of itself. Look, first of all, you don't want to be looking in the year 2026, do you? Uh, I would rather start in Serie B because I'm pretty sure in 2022 we'll find Palmer there, will we not? Um, let's have a little look. Have I gone back? We're 2022. There's Palmer. What are the facilities like at Palmer, Boris Slav? They've got to be fairly tasty, haven't they? Um, we're looking at average youth, adequate academy coaching, good youth facilities, excellent training facilities. Palmer, choice number one. Taking them back to glory would be an absolute dream. I would imagine Brescia might have some facilities. Uh, above average, good account. Mm, Brescia. Big rivals of Atalanta up north. They're in Bergamo, aren't they? Palermo are interesting. They got relegated in the first season in my game. But, uh, oh, hang on a second. Uh, Andre's already beaten us to it there. Isn't Palermo a popular save? Look, here we go. Average youth recruitment, adequate academy coaching, good youth, good training. Palermo, the Sicilians are an option. Iconic pink kits. Former club of Dybala, amongst others. So we've got Palermo as well. Um, sorry, you meant the second one. Roby. Roby. There we right, Sorry. Get, we'll get there in the end, Roby. We'll get there. You're not great at spelling out pronunciations. I'm not sure who is Roby, to be honest. Uh, Sean Paul, Sud Tyrrell. Are Sud Tyrrell in Siri Chi, Sean? Where, oh, no, they're not. Were they a club that was in Siri Chi last season and have been promoted? Average youth, average academy, average youth facilities, great training facilities. I think Sud Tyrrell are in the far north, aren't they? They are. They might even be German speakers. A little unlout over the U. I think they might be German speakers. Are they up there in the Alps? You've got Genoa, which is good. Genoa's good. Maybe a, a little bland. Como have a fabulous stadium. They've got some interesting people behind the scenes. So in your first season with Como, you'll have Fe uh, Cesc Fabregas in the team. Uh, you're also going to have, I believe, Dennis Wise as your director of football and Thierry Henry on the board. Not sure where Dennis Wise is now. He might have retired because I've played forward four or five seasons so Como could be interesting. I'm not really narrowing it down, am I? Old Barre from the south. First club of David Platman. He moved out to Italy. 
from the Mezzogiorno region. Only one club from south of Rome have ever won Serie A. That's Napoli. They're looking to do it again this season in real life. Bari could be a great choice. But I suppose you did say potentially Serie A as well. So let's jump up there. Let's get off the current season. Let's catch up with your ideas as well. Uh, so thank you, Sean. Yes, yeah, so Tyrrell, up and coming team, but can't imagine they'll have good facilities. They weren't bad. Talis Genoa could be fun. Monkey in the Fog, afternoon alarmer in the army. Hello. Working from... <coughs> Working from home. I'm very, very well, Monkey in the Fog. Hope you are as well. Didn't Crotone used to be in Serie A? They absolutely did. Pro Vicelli, John. I'm pretty sure they're down in Serie C at the start of the game as well. Of course, one of the early winners. Don't know whether they ever won Serie A, but they won the national title in Italy when it was still organised on a regional cup basis. Mark Bircham is currently coaching at Como. Sean, happy Friday. Sean, hope the Hammers are looking good for the weekend. Welcome in. Talis think this might be Series C, but are Carpi listed? Certainly a Series C job, I think, if they are. By the way, since the update, even though I started my game before the winter update, I've still got Napoli in as Napoli rather than whatever they've been changed to. In football manager but for some reason i've lost my roma my roma have become capitaline capitalini what's that about that's happened since the winter update that shouldn't be corrupting existing save styles should it i don't know and brian is in happy friday to you morning for you afternoon for us you've got the whole of friday ahead of you fridays are a gift aren't they brian Full of such optimism. By the time you get to Saturday evening, you realise the weekends were not that great after all. But on Friday, you've got it all to look forward to. So, Borislav, if you're still there, Sampdoria in a world of trouble in real life. Moments away from lifting the European Cup in 1990. I'm going to say 1991, Johan Cruyff's Barcelona won it instead. Barcelona have never looked back. Sampdoria have never been the same since. Uh, I think Sampdoria could be great. Udinese up by the Slovenian border, area of the world where um, quite mountainous, I believe. State-of-the-art training facilities, superb youth facilities, good academy of coaching and youth recruitment. Udinese could be interesting. Big history, by the way, Udinese, of shopping around for South American wonder kids. That could be an interesting twist on the save. Torino, one of the most successful clubs in Italy until a tragic air disaster in the 19, say 1940s, I think. Uh, Juventus's city rivals. That could be interesting. But for me, for me, I'm down in Serie B. If I had to pick one, just one, well... We know that Talis is picking Genoa. I know Mad Scientist would pick Palmer. I think I might go Brescia. You know, former club of Roberto Baggio, former club of Pep Guardiola, no less. They've got rivals in a nearby town in the shape of Atalanta who are having the best years in their history. And Brescia are down in Serie B. There you go. I've said it. I would go Russia. Borislav likes Udinese. Ignore what I'm saying, Borislav. You've got to pick the side that you like. Roby Monza could be good. Is that a Formula One place, Monza? I don't follow the Formula One myself, but looks pretty good. Talis is split between Jenna or Venezia. Venezia. Oh, look, they finished bottom as well. Look at the kits on them as well. They've got Pippo Inzaghi as coach currently. I don't think that would be the same in 2022 hello skip welcome in former club of balotelli and tonali is that is that brescia absolutely um i mean the only other club that could tempt me do we do we have a picture of there oh can you imagine borislav you know imagine a 10 to 15 year dynasty based on lake como you get your yacht over to the training ground in the morning, playing in that epic stadium. Look at that for a backdrop. If I was playing, I'd be launching high balls all the time just so I could look up. Oh, it's an amazing stadium. It's got to be interesting. And they are sponsored by an Indonesian 
um, media company. M- Mola are kind of like a, a TV station and they have a kind of internet subscriptions to watch lots of foreign football. In the UK, you can watch kind of like Eredivisie and Belgian football through Mola. Uh, and they've pumped a lot of money into the club, which is how they've got from Serie C up to Serie B. And uh, yeah, starting 2022, you could have Cesc Fabregas marshalling your midfield. So that seems attractive to me. Roby doesn't follow Formula One either, but I think Monza is a part of that. Isaac, lucky enough to get Pescara's COVID-19 special kit. Didn't know they had a COVID-19 special kit. That's an interesting little tale. Tal, I'm just leaving that view on the screen there, Tal. It's a very similar view to the one we have at the Imperial Fields in Morden there. Less mountainous. We don't have a lake, but when it rains, the centre circle floods. So, uh, JM Thoughts would definitely go for Pescara, as we know our good friend Jebaru would do. Uh, channel member, board member, no less, Jebaru. Um, he's doing a save on Twitch with Pescara right now. So, Borislav, hopefully that gives you some ideas. Best thing to do is head into YouTube Type in the names of some different clubs. Watch a couple of highlights packages. Uh, as I've spent my morning doing to do with a Norwegian football club, that one will be out on a video hopefully tomorrow with some save ideas. By the way, there's going to be a Brazilian club in tomorrow's save ideas video. The, oh my goodness. That one could tempt me. Lower League Brazil. Something I've never really done myself. It could really tempt me. Anyway, sorry, sorry now. That's not the halftime whistle, by the way. That was more like the, the kickoff whistle, really. Should we start playing a little bit of Kingstonian? I've taken enough of people's time going down uh, Siri A, Siri B memory lanes there. Boris, I thank you for the question. I need no excuse to start discussing Save Ideas videos right then. Let's guide you through pre-season first of all. It's been okay. We've largely played clubs that are unplayable in the division below to keep confidence up. We did have a money-spinning game away at McDonald's. We lost it 4-0. We only made £5,000 from it, which is why I don't really like these money-spinning friendlies because they don't spin enough money for my personal liking. We've got £82,000 in the bank. When the new board took over, we had 153 So you can see that's eroding already. I would expect us to be in the overdraft by the time we get to the end of the seasons. Uh, got no game. Imperial Fields indeed twinned with Como. They are like twin cities. Uh, Isaac likes the tennis courts down at Chippenham. Why wouldn't you? Borislav, it's never anything short of a pleasure to help you out. Hendon are the newly promoted side. That's a good question. Shall we have a little look at the season preview? I don't think it will make great reading for us. Oh, no, we're seventh. That's not so bad. We've got Hendon. We've got Enfield. A couple of London derbies for us there. We've got Basingstoke. And we've got Ogner Regis down on the south coast. We've got Billericay Town as well. So we've got five newly promoted clubs. We've got Dartford and Dulwich that have come down. We're starting the season against Dartford today, I do believe. Indeed, we are. That could be a tough start to the season, I think. Talis, you owe myself and Kingstonian an apology. You played the team in a pre-season friendly, quite one-sided, 7-0 for your Chelmsford side. That could be a premonition of what we're about to experience today. So there's the pre-season form. Talis is going to be in charge of Dartford against us today. He's going to try and beat us 7-0. How are you doing at Chelmsford, by the way, Talis? Are you in season one? Or have you got a little deeper into the save than that? Give me your own save updates down below. I'm a sucker for hearing about how other people are getting on. Uh, Joshua Brown, here we go. Down memory lane for Joshua, even though he's only a youngster himself. You did your secondary school sports day at Enfield Town's ground. Very glad they were promoted. Shall we treat ourselves to having a look at it then? Uh, does this bring the memories back? Oh, they have got a little athletics track there, haven't they? The Queen Elizabeth II Stadium. I'd imagine the stands were packed, weren't they, Joshua? 2,278 rabid parents screaming their children onto triple jump victory 
I'd imagine that was a day to behold. Uh, what do we got here? JM Thoughts. Have you seen that we couldn't find a job to move to after Oxford? Currently, 4th in November. Stick with Oxford until the dream job comes along, JM. It's just around the corner, isn't it? Shall we show you some squad rebuilding, by the way? Here we go. Don't get too excited. We're not going to show you anything too good. Hendon won the... Isaac, where are you plucking these facts from, by the way? They won the European Amateur Cup in 1973. Who knew that there was such competition? That could be a fabulous Save Ideas video, Isaac. Pop that in the Discord, Isaac, as a little aid memoir for later. Amateur clubs playable now in FM that might have won the European Amateur Cup. <laughs> There's a Save Ideas video. Anyway, always working. So... We've done a little bit of squad rebuilding. The midfield is fairly identical. The strike force could be identical. We could go with Blissett and Amanchi. They're both still at the club. But we have bought in a new striker. We're going to play him today. He's had a very good preseason. Let's start from the back. We had three goalkeepers with us last season. I released all three. Just a little reminder that I was spending the best part of £7,000 on wages and the board needed us to get down to almost £4,000. So we had to make some cutbacks. We have trimmed the squad significantly. I don't think we've got a stunning goalkeeper. This is Will Henry. Not huge amounts of strength to his game, but neither does he have glaring weaknesses, so he should be fairly solid. He relishes the big matches, which is good. He's consistent, which I like. He can deal with balls into the box, which we will face at this level. And it was also part of the Chippenham side that I'm fairly sure topped the table last season. Uh, they did indeed, and I think... He got a fair few starts for them. It looks like he was their number one keeper, essentially. So he won this division last season with Chippenham. So he can't be too bad. Christian Broxop is with us. Long time no see. Welcome in, Christian. Talis still in the first season. A lot of preseason games to build. Teamwork and gel the team. Just about to start the season with an FA Cup game against Harrow. Good luck with that. And yes, sit down. Got no game. Take a deep breath, my friend. Officer Dibble has gone. Uh, we don't really have a backup keeper either. Uh, and, and Henry actually got injured for three weeks of pre-season. So I panicked and bought in Reese Thompson. Uh, he's in on loan from Gloucester City, I believe. And is not costing us any money. His communication is suspect. Uh, there are many areas of his game that are not quite strong enough to be a first-team goalkeeper and is wildly inconsistent and only really cut out for the division below. But he's free, which, when you're building a squad on the budget that we are, is quite desirable. Hold on one minute. Hold on one minute. Who's this in the chat? Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Greeno saw Will Henry keep a clean sheet on Tuesday. That has to be a good omen. Was he still at Chippers then, was he? Uh, lovely to see you, Greeno. Fabulous that you've joined us. Is the work week done, Greeno, or are we just grinding it into the Friday evening? Isaac, have you ever come across UEFA's Regions Cup? Hang on, Isaac. Get these in the group chat, please, Isaac. These are all ideas that I can look into. Jesse, top of the morning to you. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Hope you are all across the big part. A warm and toasty. Yeah, we're inside warm and toasty. We've got a dusting of snow, Jesse, that I think Canadians would roll their eyes at. But it was enough to close my children's schools today, believe it or not. So we're competing for bandwidth. Uh, Talis, did Lama use the free loan trick that was shared via the manager's seat? Talis, it's a great point, and I'm very mindful of it. I think in-game we need to get to the 31st of August. That's going to be a big date for Kingstonian, because I'm thinking that on the 31st of August, not only can we try and pull that loan trick but that's going to be the transfer deadline for, I think, for League One and League Two clubs. So all of those players on my shortlist that are out of contract think they're too good for Kingstonian and are waiting for league clubs. I think their hopes might be dashed come September the 1st and we might be able to snuffle a few up. 
because we have the merest sousson of wages left in our budget. I reckon enough to get in, I think, maybe three players. I'd love to get three more in and two on loan for no wages. If we could get five through the door, we might be looking good. Ah, hello, young man. Evening, everybody. No! Pokes is with us as well. Working from home, are we, Pokes? By the way, how is your wounded hand? We're all so worried about you. On stream the other night, Pokes tried to celebrate a goal and ended up smashing his own microphone. Cut his hand open. He was very brave about it. Very brave. Ah, Simon Thornley. Hello, sir. Hey there, everybody. Hello. Simon Thornley, if you have the ability to scroll up the chat, Isaac might have found a rather nice little avenue for us to pursue with our save ideas. Um, there's such a thing, Simon, as the Amateur European Cup and the UEFA Regions Cup as well. Apparently, in the 1970s, Simon, uh, who did we say? Uh, was it was it Hendon, the London side, won the European Amateur Cup? Are there sides that might be playable in Football Manager that have won the European Amateur Cup? That could be. That could be a thing. Um done a very very good job by the way simon with preparing tomorrow's video if i can get it done in time simon it's a race against time kids being off school has put a proverbial spanner in the works but tomorrow's save ideas video is looking triumphant sometimes when i make a save ideas video there's one club that stands out for me is the one that I think everybody will go for. Last weekend, I thought Olot would be the popular one with an Erlot, sorry, in an earlier episode. Uh, I thought it would be Salgarosh in Portugal, and that was incredibly popular. <sighs> Tomorrow, I think there are three clubs that might just get people starting new saves. So that one is going to be interesting. Uh, so Simon, yeah, if you if you can uh, if you can scroll up in the chat, we we could have a little look at that, Simon. I think that could be a, a future episode. Where did all of the income come from, Simon? Uh, we had a, a, a little board takeover because we were on the verge of bankruptcy. So that was uh, well. Not before time, I have to say. Pokes, how are you then, Llama? On homeschooling duty with the kids off school, the eldest has online lessons at his school, which is basically where they register them and then just set them a YouTube video to watch. I mean, who sits around watching YouTube videos? But uh, yeah, the younger two have been up the park playing playing in the snow with their friends all morning. So yeah, we'll call that homeschooling, shall we? Yeah, okay. Real world learning. Anyway, we're still talking you through the team. We've rebuilt the back four. Rebuilt the back four. Uh, we have got back on loan for a second season. We got Jay Keith. Played pretty well last campaign. 40 games, averaged over a seven. We liked that. You're right, got no game. Never catch on. Who's going to invest time in that? Alongside him, we said we wanted airily dominant centre-backs. Well, Heath is certainly that. Alongside him, Ferguson isn't, but he's pacey. We've got acceleration of 14 and pace of 14, and the jumping reach is 12. Now, he wants to be a right back, I think, because he's got the trait of gets further forward. Hopefully, as a centre-half, he won't do that too often. But I think having a little bit of pace at the back could be desirable. Positionally, he's not a pariah, so I like him. And we're not playing him as a right back because I've bought in a right back who I think is quite good. This is Jubril Okadina. Uh, he could be a centre-back, so, you know, we could reverse them. Uh, but he's got a little bit of crossing and dribbling about him. So I think he's rather decent as well. No one's wearing the 87 shirt as yet, Joshua. It's for us to assign, potentially, as we bring a new signing in. There is a player I'm looking at, Jack Hunter, who would give us cover in two different positions on the field, which is useful. I think we need centre half because our only backup is going to be Isaac Lockett's favourite player George Milner-Smith. Very good in the air, 
desperate for pace, but he can tackle. Uh, Isaac's not a fan. I think his exact words in the Discord were, I don't know what you see in George Milner Smith. I think it's just that I can call him George James Milner Smith, to be brutally honest. Hold on one second, GT. Afternoon, everybody. Welcome in, Gary Turpey. Welcome in. Hope you're well. Hope the family are on the mend now. Good to see you in. Season four, time to push for promotion. Side note, you've picked your new save. We discussed the other day. Thank you again for the help. Who did you pull the trigger on then, Jesse? Who's the starting club? Uh, Skippo. Oh, hang on, Skippo. Hold on. You had Hunter at Gateshead. Let's go back a second. You had Hunter at Gateshead. Who's Hunter? What am I missing here? Solid player. Who's Hunter? You've thrown me. You've thrown me. I haven't signed a player called Hunter. Uh, Jack Hunter. Definitely a known... Who's Jack Hunter? Have I completely missed one of my own signings here? Oh, it's the player on trial, of course. So let's catch up then. Had Hunter at Gateshead. Solid player. So that's probably going to be where he started the game at there then, isn't it? He's a little older now. 28. Solid player, Skippo. How solid are we talking? Is he at this level? Is he an average rating above a 7? And were Gateshead playing him at a higher level? But no, they weren't in the National League. I'd like to hear your thoughts here. And Jack Hunter, definitely a no-nonsense detective who plays by his own rules. That doesn't give me any intel. Got no game as to whether he's going to be a solid signing or not. Uh, GT, we're fabulous. Glad that you are well. George Jacob Jingle Milner-Smith. His name is my name too. And Sam just lost to Dart. Ooh, Sam. Just lost to Dartford. Brace yourselves. Did somebody hear us talking about him? Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Mad scientist. Did somebody hear us talking about him? Sorry, Mad. If you've just joined us, we started the save with somebody asking to recommend a Serie A slash Serie B save where they could develop young players. So I immediately, Mad, jumped into Serie B uh, and I said that if it was you in charge, you would absolutely have gone for Palmer. I was drawn to either Como for the stadium because I'm a sucker for a nice view or I put Brescia out there, Mad, who, you know, you'll appreciate Bobby Baggio, Guardiola, Tonali as well. So we were we were chatting about your database a little bit and your love of Palmer right at the start of the stream, Mad. And here you are. Hope you're well. Uh, you're getting back to streaming fairly soon, I would imagine. Hope that goes well. So, Skippo, it was the last year in, ah, it was in the National. Andy scored some long-distance shots. Did he? Oh, long-distance shots of four for me, but uh, he's screaming them in for you, so it's not out of the question. Jesse went for Osnabrück. Like the idea of a club that's never been in the top flight. Let me just check them out, though. Were they the ones where I was angry with the colour of their stadium seats? Because uh, that could be critical. Yes. Yes. So why... Yeah, this is your first order of business, Jesse. Never mind reshaping the squad or building a winning tactic. Get straight onto the maintenance team. We've got to do something about the blue and red seats over on the east stand. The blue, I can almost manage. But what's this little patch of red all about? I can't get on board with it at all. It, I mean, the save goes no further, I think, Jesse, until somebody has sorted out these blue seats. Why, for a team playing in purple, with three sides of the stadium purple... Do we have blue and a little bit of red? It baffles and appalls in equal measure, I'm afraid. Oh, Mad approves of the shouts. Fabulous. By the way, if you're not a current player of Mad Scientist 9899 Retro Database, 
it is well worth checking out. It really is just a, a breath of fresh air when you're playing the game that's been out for a while, let's be brutally honest here, um, to get... Uh, to get the chance to go and manage players from, oh goodness me, what are we talking, 25 years ago now? I mean, is an absolute joy. Um, let me just grab something as well. Here we go. So Mad has spent so long working on his 9899 database, but he is also on the cusp, I believe, Mad, correct me if I'm wrong, of starting a brand new save on your Twitch channel. So you're going to be picking a brand new club because you were with Palmer, obviously, when you first released the database, but you're going with a new one so people can jump on board with that adventure. So Mad, if you're still there and you want to let us know what day your new adventure is going to start on, I think some people would love to check that out. Anyway, we've got as far as showing you our left back. Here's Robbie McCourt. Uh, I'm trying to train him to switch balls into wide areas because there was a left back that was available on a free transfer who liked to play long range passes and switch the ball into wide areas. And I love the idea of having a left back that might ping those diagonal balls to the right winger. So I'm going to see whether we can train it into McCourt. Um, we've got some new joiners here as well. Okay, so... Uh, Greeno, if you mix blue... No, Greeno, I'm not on board. Uh, Sam, I'm not on board. I'm not on board. We can't be mixing. It needs to be purple. I like the uninterrupted colours. Vibrant purple teams evoke memories of Austria Wien and Uwe Furstenhofer, another one of our absolute favourites. Jesse, we'll have a new stadium built when the... Thank you, Jesse. Uh, Mike, hello. Mike, along with Isaac, has been helping us study data to try and build a tactic. We're about to see whether the end of season four from last season continues, Mike. Uh, Sam is taking hashtag to the top. That sounds like a very long adventure. And Mad Scientist, don't you say very, very kind. You are an absolute gem of a gentleman. Let me give you a little bit of context into what a wonderful human being Mad Scientist is, by the way. Very recently, there was a meetup of people that listen to the Football Manager Therapy podcast. If you don't listen to the Football Manager Therapy podcast, you can check it out on Spotify, on YouTube. Uh, and there was a meetup in Nottingham. I wasn't going to go because I, you know, I live about an hour away from Nottingham, and I thought that's a bit far to travel on a Monday night. Then I found out that Mad Scientist was flying in from Denmark for that meetup. Suddenly... An hour's drive to Nottingham didn't seem quite so far. So I actually got to meet Matt in person. And he is every bit that creative genius that you would imagine him to be. So go and check out. His, he's restarting the Palmer save, but with a twist. And it will be tonight, Mad Scientist. If you can do the math here, what time UK do you think you might be live on your Twitch channel tonight? Because... I do like to be there when people start a brand new save, especially if there's a twist involved. So feel free to drop the timings in there. We've got a pretty unchanged midfield. Shackleford, Harper, both here last year. McGlinchey, here last year. We've brought in a new player. Unfortunately, my adopted son would not sign a new contract. Uh, in fact, I need to go into the transfer history, don't I? And we need to have a look at the players who we could not get to sign a new contract. Uh, and one of them, I'm afraid, was Kellen Hickinson. Still out of contract, by the way. He's not going to come back, though. You're not going to come back, are you, Kel? No, he's not going to come back. But we've tried to replace him with a, a kind of player of a similar ilk. So this is, and you're going to have to forgive him, the top of his head has been cut off like a boiled egg that's ready for dipping. This is Max Edwards Stryevsky, former Bristol Rovers Academy graduate. Now, the passing is not amazing. If that passing was 13, I would be very excited. But other areas of his game, stamina and natural fitness, really good. First touch and technique, like championship level good. 
We'll work hard enough. Too much just about there. Off the ball movement for those attacking runs. Just about there. Decisions and composure though. Really good. We're training him on his passing. He likes to switch the ball to wide areas. Which I love in a wing play system. So we want big things from young Maxi. Sam is second in the conference. How do you get to be second in the conference south, Sam? I can't get into the playoffs. Um, JM thought he bought... Klopp with him too. Let's go is with us. Big game this weekend. It's standard Liège away against Club Brugge. Managerless Club Brugge. Scott Parker had a very rough ride there, didn't he? Goodness me. And Mad, 7pm UK. I'm going to try and clear my schedule, Mad, and make sure I drop in to see what you're up to. I love the twist idea. Very, very interested in that. And we've got one more player to show you. We've got a few subs that we've brought in. Uh, back at right winger, Kane Smith. Uh, a player who, when I did a video for the manager seat last FM about a non-league side that I put into the Premier League to see if they could survive. Spoiler. Uh, Kane Smith was part of the squad there. So I've played him at a Premier League level. He's come in as our back at right back, all right winger. Like him. We've got uh, Sol Alidor Hamilton, backup central midfielder. He could either be the ball winner or the box-to-box -box player. So he's solid. Again, look at these players. Not costing us any. That on non-contract terms. Uh, we've got a backup left-back come left winger. Joe Rabbit, 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 Rabbit. Gets forward whenever possible. Fine with that, whether he's on the wing or at full back. Yeah, some of these players are very versatile. They're not stunners, but I've tried to bring in players, well, as best as we could. You know, these are non-contract boys. So, you know, you know I, was, I, was, I was shopping in the bargain basement. Um, Talis, with some games and training within the MC area, he'll get better passing attributes easy. Looks good. I hope so. If I could just tickle it up to 11, passing of 11, vision 11, I think he's going to be good at this level. He's not had a great pre-season, though, which is why I'm a, a little bit reticent to declare him a hero. Uh, the answer to the lower leagues is Hamza Kargbo. Not a player I don't think we've come across yet. He could have, of course, retired by now because I am four seasons in. Hamzad, Kidderminster Harriers, six foot six. Yeah. What's with the balance for target forwards in FM23, though? They all topple over. They're like, like weebles. Dred's playing big matches, but he's fired you to glory, has he? Well, and Sam, and not so secret FM, afternoon. Love the... Ah, oh, were you watching not so secret? Welcome in, by the way. Hey there, everybody. Oh. Hold on, hold on. They're all rolling in now. Spencer. Hey there, everybody. No. I'm gloriously well, TMG, but how I am is really inconsequential. How are you? Hope you're well. We're about to introduce the chat, and I realise we're 46 minutes into the stream. I've not played a game yet. Standard. I spent most of my time in Serie B, choosing safe ideas for somebody else. But we've got one more player to show you. He's going to play alongside the target forward of Blissett to begin with. That's only because we've got a little injury to a player who we showed you I think two streams ago, Josh Andrews, former Birmingham City player, who's come in as a target man and then got injured. But he's six foot six, not quite as good a jumping reach as we'd like. But he's going to be a good rotation option with Blissett, because let's be honest, at 83 years old now, Nathan Blissett might not be able to play 46 games, although in preseason he looked resplendent once more. But we've got one more player to play alongside them. Uh, less than hero. Up the blues. Keep right on. Shame our training ground, Bert Dad. You just couldn't write it, could you? You could not write it. We've now not got a training ground or a stadium, really. Or any good players. So, you wouldn't want to support my club. Unfortunately, less than hero does. Uh, TaylorMade. Uh, one game in 50 minutes. Oh, this is like Pokes FM levels of gameplay. I apologise. We will get into it. But I want to show you who I hope. And I'm probably going to be subbing him after 20 minutes because he's terrible. But I hope this could be the player that rescues our season. Uh, 
If we can get little Maxi Edwards spraying the ball out to the wide men, if we can get delivery from Shackleford and Harper in for Blissett, we can score goals from out wide. I'm confident of that. If Blissett's not playing, we get big Josh in, we can still score goals airily. But for something a little bit different. And remember, Levi still there as the poacher, the six foot six inch poacher. But what if we wanted some genuine pace? Somebody who really was rapid up front. Well, we turn to Liam Jones. Pace of 14, acceleration of 15, agility is good. Off the ball movement, composure and finishing is good. He can take the ball down like he's wearing pillows on his boots. And he likes it played into his feet. Originally, I wasn't going to sign him, I'll be honest. Because his teamwork and his work rate did not fit in to my DNA. Neither did the bravery. But he wanted to come in as a non-contract player. So I thought, well, I tell you what, we can always release him if we don't find anything better. And we started him in the preseason. He's banged in eight and five and got three assists. He's averaging almost a nine in preseason. Now, granted, that's against teams that are not the strongest caliber of opponents, but we have hopes for LJ this season. Little Liam Jones. Let's get out there against recently relegated Dartford and see how our revamped squad do Cross the fingers, everybody. This is this is the start of the new era. Let's see whether we can start it positively. Let's see whether we can get an opening day victory. We're the home team. Still not responding to my team talks. Although, one thing I didn't show you. We've started a new coaching badge because we've had a board takeover and there's a little bit of money in the bank account. I've asked them for my National B license. They've agreed. So we might get a little attribute bumper ourselves in about four to six months' time. If you don't mind, we're just going to tickle this up to extended just so we can keep an eye on Dartford. They've had a shot already, although a long ranger, judging by the XG. Let's see what we can do. We've had a shot of ourselves, which has an XG of exactly zero. That's alarming. But here we go. Edwards. There's a ball. And his LJ turns on a sixpence and fires in an effort. You want to see his pace in behind defensive. The boy genuinely can scare opponents. We've got Blissett trying to get on the ball there. Smith picks it up. They've gone long. We need a winner. And McGlinchey mops it up. Here's the new right back, Ocadina. Not a great ball forward, but the old man has capitalised on it. And it's... Whew, that's a cultured effort on goal from the big man. It's just dabbed wide of the post, but that was good. Jason Statham now has got it forward to... Oh, no, the right back's given up. Okay, Ferguson gets it away. Harrop, Harfield... Don't bring him down in the box. Okay, look, that's good defending. Look, we're forcing them back. That's good defending. That's tight. That's good pressure on the ball. Oh, we like that. Tigerish in that midfield. That was how we want to play. I don't want to thump it forwards afterwards. I'd rather try and counterattack with a little bit more aplomb than that. But that was good. We've cracked the crossbar from a free kick as well. We're playing okay. I'm still, by the way, holding my hands up during games. Trying not to press shouts. Trying to stay off the shouts. Hands on the head, people. Come on, LJ. He's gone. Oh, I thought he was in behind. We go again, though. Shackleford. Here's LJ again. Finish it, son. Oh. 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 Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Joshua Brown, by the way, going to give you an update at halftime. Peter Moosa News. Not a bad, half, not a bad first half, that. XG-wise, not great. Plenty of efforts, though. Uh, Joshua Brown. Peter Musa turned 25 last Saturday. Put your name on the card and sent it. I was part of the panel last night, Joshua Brown, over on Twitch. 
who were presenting a football manager draft tournament called the FM Playoffs, where content creators are invited to a competition. They draft players and they have like a little tournament on Sunday. Follow the FM Playoffs over on Twitch if you'd like to tune into that on Sunday. Peter Musa was one of the players that people were looking at last night. Nobody drafted him, unfortunately, but I saw somebody surveying his talents. That was exciting. Last time I heard Joshua Brown, he was at Boa Vista, I think, in Portugal. Not sure where he is now. JM Thoughts, why no shouts? Because I'm convinced that they tweak your tactics in a way that you might not imagine for the period of time that that shout is active. So I'm not using them. I'm not using them. Like, it must do something. It must make a little change to your tactics in order for the team to play differently. It can't just be their body language. I know there's a little body language response, but I'm just trying to stay off them. JB, is that Benfica now? Goodness me. I remember when we were doing Border Adventures, there was talk of him maybe going to Cardiff. So if he's got to move to Benfica, wow, he's gone up in the world. Uh, what do we want to say? I'm going to say we're disappointed to try and elicit a motivated response Liam Jones, 6.6, .6, but he's got in a couple of times. He's going to take one of these chances, isn't he? What a player on FIFA, him and Wagner love. Really? Um, well, we've lost possession of the ball. Lapsley. Oh, have you just shoved somebody over? Max. Okay. Let's try and get hold of the ball. We want to score a goal now, don't we? We've, we've had a decent first half. Jason Statham and Jerry Maguire both been booked for the opposition. Heath, oh, that's a chance. Mm, that's a good chance as well. Do we need fresh legs? Oh, LJ's down to a 6.4. Do we get the band back together and bring on Levi Amanchi? What a disappointing debut. I was worried he might be rubbish when it came to the big games. And he's been booked. Okay. Sheck's not playing great either. Let's give Kane Smith an outing on the right wing. One substitution still in our back pocket. Nine shots, three on target. Behind on the XG, even though they've not had a shot on target yet. They've been pretty wasteful in front of goal. We've got the ball in the box. There's the big man. It's a good header. Straight at the keeper, though. They've launched it early, and this needs winning, son. Well done, Ferguson. Reminds me of a butler's name, by the way, Ferguson. Thank you, Ferguson. Oh, that's a foul. Lapsley, he's got to go, hasn't he? He's got to go. We're off to Fratton Park where there's been a red card, but for who, Chris Kamara? I don't know, Jeff, has it? I must have missed that. Ooh, duh, do we, ooh, what do we do? What do we do? I'm terrible in games where we go down to 10 men. I'm equally terrible when the opposition are reduced to 10 men. I always seem to lose these games 1-0. But we've we've got to up the tempo, not the tempo, but the 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 impetus of the side a little, haven't we? Haven't we? I think we have. Okay, we'll dwell on it. Hang on, why we've paused? What's going on in the chat here? GT, looking at fixtures for the weekend. Who have we got then? Hamilton off. Okay, Villa away at West Ham, so they're going to lose. And Larkle Thistle are away at at who now? Carluki or Carluk? Not sure. Liam's working again. Uh, speaking of Villa losing, Liam's with us and Trekkers. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Oh! Fabulous to see you, Trekkers. Hope you are well. By the way, why not click on Trekkers name? I think that works. Open up another tab. Check out some of Trek's content after this stream. Make sure you subscribe to his channel because he's a wonderful human being. Are we enjoying a cheeky snow day, Trekkers? Have all your activities been cancelled today? And let's go. There's there's the... We've been waiting, let's go, for a while, haven't we? It's been, it's been, I've had it in the back pocket for ages. Not had a, not had a sending off. Isaac, stick, stick to the plan. The plan's cautious, though, Isaac. Stick... What, just hope the space naturally opens up? We could do that. Liam Reynolds, how is the French all-time 11 looking? Oh, Liam. Resplendent, I would say. Bartes, Desai, Blanc, Leboeuf. Perez and Ginola out wide. Cantona and Henri up front. Plus, a midfield to pick after this game. 
Liam, tell me you've seen a team like that. And Trekkers, uh, you're always working when I'm streaming, but it's an office day. Yes, office day into the weekend. Uh, fabulous. Are you are you kind of doing office work then? Are you Trekkers in the very loosest sense of the term? Don't worry. We're all friends here. There's lots of people watching doing office work as we speak uh lily reminds you of the 15 16 aston villa what squad or season we're sticking with it then isaac we're staying patient we're staying patient we're very patient i'm patiently waiting for a highlight nothing's happening okay we're, we've got to 80 minutes isaac we've got to 80 minutes Stick to the plan. I've stuck to the plan. The plan's eliciting nothing. Could I just treat myself to that? And maybe a little bit of that. Could we? Should we? Can we? Might we? We've done it. And let's get fresh legs on. McGlinchey not having a good game. Alidor Hamilton on. For his W. And we've got a highlight. Ocadina. Ferguson, the butler. Big Max. Blissett. Amanchi. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, and he's offside as well. Oh, why did we even get a highlight for that? That was disappointing. By the way, look at the bookings that they've had. The entire team's been booked. Here we go again. Come on, Levi. Square it now. Okay. Maxi. Oh. Oh. Okay, come on. We're pressing now. We're pressing. Look at the look at the man short for the corner. It's never going to you, son. I love the way you've tried out there. You're a decoy. You've dragged a player out. It's never going to you. Kane Smith, Ferguson, nothing. Heathy, keep it in. No, okay. All right. We are pressing now. This is where in a former life I would have done a shout. But look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bookings, including Lapsley's that ended in a sending off. We're good boys, look. Just LJ that got booked and we've subbed him. Look at us. Doesn't look like the winner's coming though, does it? Dominated the game. 13 shots, 6 on target. XG below a 1 though. But this is a team that were a division above us last season. I know they've been reduced to 10 men, but we've looked solid. We've looked compact, which I'm pleased with. And we're still going for a late winner, by the way. Levi's got the big man in the box. Harps, you can cross to him now. You can cross and he's there. Is he offside? He's offside. The flag's up. The flag's up. It's already there. It's already there. Simon's urging me to put run at defence on for a bit of injury time. He's well offside. He's well offside. Okay, we've got three minutes. Um, Let's run at them. Because I think if we can deliver, there's a chance. Ah, this is last knockings, though. This is last knockings. Don't give it away from here, by the way, boys. Let's see this little passage out. That's a lot of space for a wide man, by the way. Don't, don't, don't. Oh. Okay. Nil, nil. Nil, nil. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Hang on a second. They are all in this afternoon. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Oh. Christopher, otherwise known as Fairly Determined FM. Whilst we're checking out people's YouTube channels, by the way, when you've finished having a snoop around with Trekkers, don't think I haven't noticed, by the way, I said, go and check out Trek's YouTube channel after this stream, and you lot have all got distracted there looking at Trek's content, thinking, well, that's significantly better than the stream that I'm watching. Come back for a second. Come back. Click on Fairly Determined FM. So first of all, get subscribed to his channel. Click his little bell as well, because he's always releasing. He's had a little couple of weeks off, just resting up. But he's back at the wheel now. Uh, no, I'm going to say disappointed with that. And he's a fabulous, fabulous content creator. A big Brighton and Hove Albion fan as well, aren't you? Fairly determined. And uh, he's done a video for the manager's seat for us, which makes him a god-tier creator, just like Trekkers has done as well. Um... Go and check out Fairly Determined FM. You'll find some good, fun Let's Play stuff, as well as some experiments there. He is an absolute up-and-comer. Literally, you're getting in there, 
at the ground level. This is like watching Justin Bieber when he was in in sync. You know, you're, you're seeing it early. He's going to be huge. You can get on board very early. By the way, Simon Thornley's still in the uh, the chat there. It was actually Simon, fairly determined, that first tipped me off. Simon is always bringing me new up-and-coming creators saying, have you seen this chap? Because he's really quite good. And he sent me a link to your channel. I watched a couple of videos and I contacted you and said, do you fancy being on the manager seat? Because you're really rather quite good. And, uh, well, turned out that was a decision well made. We've got Oxford City away. How did they get on in their first game of the season? Oh, they won it. And they won it convincingly. Oh, what a tough start to the campaign this is. It was a way they beat... Oh, they stuck four Parson Albans. Anyway, anyway. <whistles> We're... Uh, I don't think Bieber... No, sorry, Bieber. It's uh, Trouser Snake, wasn't he? What's he called? Justin Timberlake was what I meant. Did I say Bieber? Bieber was never in a boy band. Bieber was on Disney, I think, wasn't he? Uh, anyway, regular guy. Regular guy. Let's not leave you out, by the way. Click on Brian's channel. Go and subscribe. He's got some fabulous lower league saves. Always on the go. Always a fan of his work. Let's go. Attack wins you games. Defense win you titles. Your defense did great. Oh, let's go. Those are warm words. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, now look, that means a lot because last week, last week, last two weeks of streams, Defensively, we've been absolutely all over the shop, so I'm delighted that we put up a good performance there. Uh, Liam, thank you for your Bieber knowledge, by the way. Always good to get some Bieber fever feedback. Uh, fairly determined. It's no less than you deserve, young man. Uh, drop in the chat, by the way, fairly determined. What's your current subscriber count? Because I guarantee you it's at least 5,000 where you should be right now because you're doing very, very well. Bieber was a street performer in Toronto. Before he was discovered and hit it big time. Good to know. And got no game. This evening's watching sort... Ah, oh, got no game. Got no game. By the way, got no game. Putting out some fabulous... Do you know what I love about got no game? Is that he is an Irish content creator managing an Irish club with University College Dublin. I love that. So many great North American content creators. Never seem to do an MLS save. I'd love to watch them do an MLS save. It's great to see people doing saves that they're really not fairly determined. You're not at 585. That's a scandal, by the way. That, I mean, that as is, if we can get 100,000 signatures on that, they need to be debating that in the Houses of Parliament because that just won't wash. Okay, so 585 for fairly determined is a, a national catastrophe. Many of you are not in the UK. It's a global catastrophe. Please, please, please go and watch a vid. You'll love it. Spread the word. He's a fabulous, fabulous young creator. Regular guy did an MLS rebuild with DC. That's what we want. Maybe do another this year. Do you know what I'd love as well, regular guy? Um, a North American creator that could get a database that's got, uh, you know, like the, is, is it called the USL? Is it Uni United States Soccer League? Is that its name? Where, like, you've got, like, the New York Cosmos and the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Oh, <laughs> starting out there, building up a reput reputation until you get a job in MLS. Ooh. Maybe a little maybe a little journeyman taking in Canada and Mexico as well. Oh, Wolf Tracks is in. Did somebody say DC? Everybody said DC. Welcome in, Wolf Tracks. Welcome in, Jackie, as well. Um, anyway, apologies. Look. This is going to be tough on all of us now. We've got to pick three French players who have played in the English Premier League to make up the central midfield engine room of our all-time best French Premier League 11. And I do not think this is going to be easy. So now drop your names in the chat if you can think of them. I'm going to make notes of the best ones as we go, and then we're going to put it to the vote. We need three central midfielders. Laz, you've been, you've, your fingers have been poised on the keyboard waiting for this moment. What shouts they are, by the way. So we've got Claude McAlele. We've got Patrick Vieira. 
We've got Didier Deschamps. All fabulous. Roby would love it if the MLS linked up. Oh, don't, Roby, don't. Um, I would be all over that, by the way, especially if I could start my own New Jersey franchise, because since the Metro Stars were stolen from us, I have nobody to support. Uh, Simon's in for Vieira. We've got Kante. Uh, we've got Dimitri Paye. Is that how you spell it as well? Oh, I'm thinking of Gus Paye there. Uh, Cantona's already in. Cantona's already in. Don't worry. We've got him as a striker up front with Thierry Henry. So we are good for Cantona-isms. We're good there. Pogba for Fairly Determined. Fabulous hair. Uh, Petit. We've not had Petit. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Thank you, Laz. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, Fairly Determined. Uh, Sean, another vote. Not at all biased towards his West Ham days. He could rip in a good free kick at West Ham, couldn't he? Sean Paul, by the way, thank you very much for that. Now, look, we should point out, we are going to be making our selections not just on how good they were when they played in the Premier League, but we're judging them across their entire careers. Now, Jorkaev, when he was at Bolton, he was a hero at Bolton, but he might not have been at his prime. But think back to France 98. Oh, think about his time at Internazionale. Liam, you'll be pleased to know, Liam. You'll be pleased to know. Ginla's on the left wing. We've got him in there. Perez is over on the right. Isaac. And you love that Steed Mulbronk, don't you? It's becoming a meme now. Sorry, Mulbronk. It's like that guy over on Twitch who, who trolls people's football manager Twitch channel saying, sign Pulisic. Um, less than Dugary. I mean, that would be a number 10 to rival Jorkaev. Okay. I'm going to... Oh, the, I'm afraid these heats are going to be absolutely stacked. Okay, no more nominations now. Let me see if I can do a poll. Uh, Darren Taylor. Welcome in, Darren. Uh, justice for Mulbro. Don't you back him up, Roby. Uh, okay, so shall we go with a player who's going to be like our number six? Uh, and look, if we if we have any real close ties, I might put them in another one of the votes later on. So who would be a number six? So Kante would, would be six-ish, I think. And of course, of course, Mac Aleli would be six ish. Um, Dugary Malbron, Dior are all number tens. Pogba, a Payet would be a number ten. I think you'd say Deschamps as well, wouldn't you? Would be a bit six ish. Kante, Mac Aleli, and Deschamps. Now, look, don't cry. Don't cry. If one of your favourites here comes second, but it's close, I might throw them in for the number eight vote. Let me just check here. Let me just check. And Makaleli, I'm going to say Vieira and Petit are both kind of like eights ish. Um, okay, we're going to go with that. Here we go. We're going to give you, well, 30 seconds to vote. Oh, I've accidentally added a fourth option. Let's get rid of that. Here we go. It's in. It's in. Cast your votes now. Cast. Oh, Sami Nasri. That's a cheeky 10, isn't it? Let's go. That's a cheeky 10. He had a go at our number 10. Uh, sorry, no, he had to go as our wide players. Didn't get in the team. So we've done Makaleli, we've done Deschamps, we've done Kante. Three fabulous choices. You can't go wrong with those. For eights, we're going to go Vieira. We're going to go Pogba. We're going to go Petit. And oh, we're going to have to stick one of the number 10s. I'm going to stick Cannon Fodder, Steed Mulbronk in there. Apologies, Isaac. Apologies, Isaac. Oh, this is very tight, by the way. Makaleli started off well, but he's dropping. He's dropping as we speak. So there are my 8s. Then my 10s. We're going to go Nasri. We're going to go Jorkaev. We're going to go Christoph Dugary. And we're going to go Payet. Okay. Ah, oh, Ducore. Ah, oh, I can't take any more. I can't take any more options. Um. Okay, I think we've had enough time. Five more seconds. Five more seconds on the six. Makaleli looks like he's going to steal it, and he does. You know, he does. 
Uh, and that was that was competitive, that one, I think. That one was competitive. Um, Deschamps beats Kante as well. Interesting. Okay. Let's go for our next one then. So these are going to be our number eights. And I'm so sorry, but this is stacked. Absolutely stacked. We've got Patrick Vieira, World Cup winner when he was a youngster. Multiple titles with Arsenal. I think he won Serie A as well, if I'm right. Pogba certainly won Serie A, although it was with Juventus and they did buy the title. Ooh, goodness me, did I, did I say that out loud? Sorry. we got Petit, who I think scored the third goal for France in the 98 final, didn't he? Two Zizan headers and a... A petit break. And then we got Steed Malbronk, who, as far as I'm aware, didn't play for France. By the way, Steed Malbronk, I'm pretty sure, is actually Belgian. Um, but represented France at youth level. You you little uh, Wikipedia fans. Correct me if I'm wrong there. I'm sure Steed Malbronk was Belgian. So Makaleli's in at six. That one's confirmed. I think I know who's winning this, by the way, but I'm not. I'm not going to bias you in any way. But imagine the names that could be missing out here. By the way, the vote is going exactly the way I thought. Anyone voting for Pogba needs to give their head a wobble. McAlady playing in the McAlady role. He invented the anchor man, didn't he? Let's go. I thank you. Malbronk born in Muscron, I believe, which is in... A, that's Wallonian, isn't it? Let's go. Muscron is Wallonian. Best Prem midfield overall, not just French. Well, I think we're building it. <laughs> I think we could be building it, and they're all French here. Uh, look, this one, this one's a runaway train, so I'm going to end this one now. Get your votes in quick, because I'm about to end it. But this is as comprehensive as you could get. 94%. Uh, Somebody went Pogba, though. Uh, play for Chelsea, Liam. Not for a long time, I don't think. Yeah, against the board with France, let's go. Thank you very much. You're Walloon yourself, aren't you? Let's go. So can't be too far. Although Liège is, is a bit further south, I think, isn't it? So is Mouscron, is that closer to Chalois? Is that kind of like the, the neck of the woods? The zebras are your rivals, aren't they? Anyway, we've got one more poll to go. Here we go. Start a poll. And we're going to go with our kind of our number 10 kind of player. Uh, oh, let's go. You're Flemish, are you? You're Flemish, but you're a standard Liège fan. Can't get many of them, can you? Sorry, I assume that you would be in Liège. Um, number 10s then. So we're going Samir Nasri, Arsenal and Manchester City. We're going to go with Yuri Zhukayev, former Monaco midfielder, protege of Arshin Wenger, I believe. I've spelt Zhukayev wrong. I ap apologise for that. I'm not correcting it. We've got, if God was a footballer, he would be Christophe Dugarry. And I'm not at all biased by my Birmingham connections there. And then we've got Dimitri Payet. So for our number 10, this only goes one way for me as well, if I'm brutally honest. This only goes one way. We'll see what you scoundrels think of it, though. It's already going. It's already going the way. It, oh, no. Oh, oh, it's not going the way. I. Oh, and that's better. That's better. That's better. Now people are seeing sense. Goodness me. Got to remember, this is across their entire careers, not just how they performed in the Premier League. It's a close one, though, this one, isn't it? Get those votes in. Quick, 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 quick. Let's see who we're selecting. Um, by the way, numbers for the stream are ridiculous. More than 250 people in already. 45 with us right now. 27 likes. Oh, what a wonderful little gang you are. Only really know of Payet. Um... All you need to... What would you say if we were trying to explain to a young pup like Isaac? What was Yuri Zhurkaev like? Oh, he floated on air. Who would we liken him to? Um, oh, like a James Madison-esque kind of player, Zhurkaev? Better than that. And he didn't get ditched from international squads and then go and sit in casinos. But, uh, right, we're we're about to end the poll. 
for some reason, Samir Nasri is winning it. So if anybody wants to change that, they need to change it quickly. Otherwise, Samir Nasri is going to be in. I'm going to count you down. Five. I'm counting down now. Four. Uh, Sammy Nasri seems to be in the lead. Three. Sammy Nasri still winning here. Two. It's not not too late to do. Oh. It's Sammy Nasri. Chalkai has been beaten by Sammy and Nasri. Okay. Makaleli, Vieira, Nasri. Really? After how Nasbury engineered his move to Manchester City? We want that in the dressing room? Are we sure? Oh, I don't know. I don't know about this. Uh, let's go. Standard has a big... Uh, no, look, I did not know this. Let's go. Educate me here. Standard has a big following in, in Flanders, especially in Limburg a Flemish province in the east. That's where my good friend Laodamus is from, isn't it? Because he lives very near Henk. Uh, Henk is in Limburg uh, and south and east of Limburg. I'm also, I did not know that. I thought that was quite a hard border for who you would support there. So let's go. Are you naturally a Dutch speaker in Limburg? You must be. A standard... I find that fascinating. I love that. Oh, love these little facts. Let's go. Um... That will go down well on Twitter. I am still getting pelters on Twitter, by the way, for Samuel Eto. So I don't know what's going to happen with Sammy and Nasri. Anyway, time, I think, that we jump back over to the game. Let's get into it now. Uh, time to kick off the second half. Look, we've got, we got just over 50 minutes left. Uh, a, a doping ban as well for Sammy and Nasri. Was that I don't remember that bit. We're putting that in the team, are we? By the way, sorry, I got so absorbed doing polls for our French all-time 11. I've not fast-forwarded to game day like I normally do. I sleep at the wheel. Royston are in for Levi Manchi. Levi, turn that down, please, son. Turn that down. We've got Oxford City, and then we've got Gosport Borough. I'm just hiring a new coach. Nothing to see here. Um... We need to make a little decision on our trialist as well. Oh, I want to get Knight Percival in for David. Yeah, we're about to kiss our assistant manager goodbye here. David Karanka is going. Nat Knight Percival is arriving. I mean, there's not a lot between them, but offers a little bit more mentally for me. So in he comes. A little bit of a shake-up of the backroom staff going into the Oxford City game. Uh, Rook, today for dinner, we are having barbecue sandwiches and potato salad. Don't leave us hanging there, Rook. What is it that you are barbecuing or what is in the sandwich? Come on, we need, we need details, don't we? We need details. By the way, there's lots of you are oh, working from home today. Give me your working from home lunches. Come on. Little taste buds going. Or are you doing something a little special for a Friday evening? Have you got big weekend meal plans? By the way, because I was part of the panel on Football Manager playoffs last night. No spoilers, by the way, here. This is not the place for spoilers. You'll crush a, a, a roguishly handsome middle-aged man's dreams here. But as soon as I finish this, it's Mandalorian with the kids. We've not seen Mandalorian yet this week. Got to go and catch that straight after this. Um, oh, here we go. Come on, they're all coming now. So, Isaac, 2018, he was banned for six months and then a further 12 for doping bans. Um, Rook's got barbecue pork. Is it hot, Rook? Is it a hot sandwich? Big fan. Big fan. Pokes. What's happened, Pokes? Is rationing back on? Crumpets and cheese. I mean, that is that's an elite tier. Cheese on crumpets. You know, we I will back to the hilt. That's not. A, oh, is that your lunch? Sorry, pokes. I started talking about Friday night dinners. You're. I thought, pokes. You're having a crumpet for dinner. Is there a war on that I've not heard about? Um. Ah, crumpets and cheese for lunch. You're living the dream there. JM had an egg thing, like an egg frittata in a flatbread. That's a bit fancy. That's very York, though, isn't it, JM? 
very uh just shredded beef on an italian loaf uh fairly sorry shredded pork uh not really big on cold yeah 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 so gone for hot barbecue that sounds great rook fairly determined it's got a tesco meal deal it's not lazy there's a lunch of champions there chris i think isn't it um greeno ah greeno just sorry greeno did we beckon you out of your lurking there by the way if you want foodie videos look no further than our own greeno eats another channel to just go and get subscribed to greeno's one of our own it used to be by the way get your little violins out because this is sad used to be an elite tier football manager streamer i used to love hanging out in greeno streams such a relaxing way to spend an evening in greeno streams terps was there i think terps you used to pop into an old greeno stream didn't you um but now focusing on his food channel uh i've not even sorry i've not even read your and read your comment green i just got kind of wistfully lost in talking about your youtube channel you're planning on filming tonight with a takeaway but can't decide whether to go to, for fish and chips kebab shop or burger joint what would llama do well content wise greeno i've noticed you've done a few fish and chip ones and it would seem a shame not to do a fish and chip video with the kind of the whole seaside backdrop behind you because that's your forte so if you're just doing like a regular takeaway during a snowy winter's evening i'd go with one of the other two options am i alone there i'm just i'm thinking from a, a views point of view gt had a sticky ribbed pot noodle and a chicken sandwich. Double meats there. Darren Taylor. The, thank you, Darren. Mandalorian is elite, as was Obi-Wan. To be fair, Disney have taken stock. I would agree. My favourite. My kids would disagree with this, Darren. My favourite was probably Andor. Uh, alongside Mandalorian. Alongside. Andor, I thought, was underrated. Uh, Sean. Oh, hello, Sean. Because why not? Honestly, you're dancing with delight there, aren't you? Cod and chips. By the way, Sean, be prepared to be set back a good eight quid for a piece of cod now. Is that just where I live? Goodness me. JM Thoughts. Uh, I'll have you know that I invented this meal in London. It's very York, though, isn't it? It's very York. Uh, anyway, it's game day. Josh Andrews could be fit enough for the bench. That doesn't mean he'll jump straight on. No, I think we'll keep it as it is. Um, hello. Oh, Matt. Hello. Welcome here, Matt. Ando was far and away the best so far. I loved it. I loved it. But Mando, yeah, I would I'd put them kind of equal. Uh, my kids didn't enjoy Andor as much. Every single episode, they'd say, now explain that to me. We're like, we just watched it. Explain what happened. Even my 13-year-old, who is, I think he's TikToked up on Star Wars, you know, he, he knows all of the backstories. Even he prefers Mandalorian to Andor. But, oh, it's good fun, isn't it? Uh, Isaac, currently watching Kenobi and having a great time. Kenobi was a bit short. It's almost like they realised that they'd got Ewan McGregor back and they thought, okay, let's just bang this out as quick as we can. I'd like to have seen a slightly longer series there. Nothing against it. I say nothing against it. That kid that played Princess Leia with the butterfly thing. A bit irritating. By the way, I'm not going to say who. I'm not going to say who. Let's just see who's watched Kenobi. Did you spot the rock star mystery guest? I'm not going to say who it is. Don't Google it now. Don't Google it. Don't be that guy or gal. Did you spot the rock star mystery guest, the cameo? I think they had a line or two in Kenobi. Because I saw them in it and I thought, no, I must be mistaken. I wasn't. Looked at the credits. It was there. Um, Rook's not watched any of the Disney Star Wars. If you're able to access them, Rook, they are thoroughly, thoroughly good fun. Um fairly determined mando best star wars for a while it's good stuff isn't it 
whoever came up with the idea of Grogu, that's marketing dream, isn't it? Uh, Darren Taylor, not really into music per se, so no, don't have a clue. There was a big rock star in Kenobi. Won't spoil it for people that haven't watched it, but uh, they were on screen. I thought, goodness me, what an odd, odd person to be in there. Standard Liège has been in the top flight of Belgium for more than 100 years now. Well done. Used to have the Impenzas for a while, didn't they? They were started out at Moosegron, I think, didn't they? Did they? Sure, sure the Impenzas were at Moosegron, and then they went to Standard Liège, I think, didn't they? 98.99 database favourites, by the way. This is going to be a tough game, by the way. We've not scored in our opening game, and I think Oxford could well be dangerous opponents, having won 4-1 at St Albans on the first weekend of the season. If I start ignoring the chat, apologies. I'm trying to concentrate a little bit more on the game this season because, well, often I wouldn't have noticed when we conceded before. Here's LJ, and he's in. Oh, LJ, he's rifled one. Rose, thorny little opponent, sees it around the post. LJ looks like he can get in behind defences. Already looks like he could miss a few chances, though. He's got good finishing and composure. Maybe he just needs to settle in. That was a good, strong start to the game. Unfortunately, we didn't take the lead. And we're racing through without having any more efforts on goal. We're keeping Oxford nicely at bay so far, but we're halfway through the first period... And there ain't nout happening. There's our second shot. No additional highlights yet. This is where I want to get on the shouts and demand more. But I'm eager to stay off the shouts. Maybe I need to make a video on shouts, you know, and try and study their impacts. I'm not sure whether I need to go back to shouts or not. Uh, we had a lot a lot of the momentum in that game, despite the lack of efforts on goal. I'm still going to say this is not good enough. We're not going to score if we don't shoot. Sounds sage advice to me. Isaac, was it a Birmingham rock legend? No. California, LA uh, in particular. Liam, Lama, could you say, can't stop thinking? Well, I was under a bridge, Liam, and I couldn't stop thinking about it. Um, I was standing in line and I couldn't stop thinking about it either, Liam. Um, I don't want to give it away. Give it away. I don't want to give it away now, but I think Liam's got it. I think Liam's got it. Same as Rook. Love the originals. Hated the prequels with you. Uh, Jar Jar Binks. No need. Uh, enjoyed 7 to 9 with you again, but haven't felt them all. Oh, Greeno, honestly, you're so lucky that you haven't seen any of them yet because literally this is controversial now Greeno I'm going to say if you watch Mandalorian you're going to enjoy it more than the original three is that sacrilege maybe it is I'm going to say I'm going to say you're going to enjoy it more um fairly determined lovely touch how dare you want... Oh, sorry, Rook, I know. Bang out of order. Just spotted, you, spotted your hometown in the league table. Chris, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a little guess as to who that is. Um, are we in the same... Uh, Worthing's down south. Are you a Worthing person? Or you're not Bogner, are you? Bogner have just got promoted. Uh, that's, they're both in your neck of the woods, aren't they? You're, um, you're Sussex, aren't you? I know you're a Brighton fan. You've got to be Sussex. Let's go. Here we go. Uh, did, did I get this right? Both and Penzers came from Moose... Did I say that? Moose Cron to standard. Fast as lightning, especially Emil. Very injury prone. Liam, think people will get... They won't get it, Liam. Too subtle for them, Liam. Plus, they're quite old, aren't they, Liam? And we've got some youngsters here. Uh, Pokes. What do you mean, Pokes? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you whoa, whoa, whoa in at, Pokesy? What have, what have I missed here? Uh, Darren, yourself and your 12-year-old son watched Star Wars New Hope again. My kids love watching them. Uh, earlier this week, he'd never seen the Stormtrooper scene where he bashes his head. Couldn't stop laughing. Fairly determined it is Worthing. I knew you were a Sussex boy. And Greeno, quite oh, honestly, Greeno. Uh, I mean, Stoke Blackburn is 
well, that's going to be dire. I would watch Treat Yourself to Mandalorian. You've got three... Well, I think we're on the third season of Mandalorian, so you've got two of them. And you've got Boba Fett. And you've got Kenobi. Oh, and then you've got Andor, Greeno. Maybe not the kids with Andor. I'm not sure how old your kids are, Greeno. But Mandalorian, watch it with the kids. It's a family-friendly show. Anyway, uh, let's go. Other standard greats are Van Moore. Uh, I remember Eric Gerritz. I think Eric Gerritz went on to coach Club Brugge, didn't he? Conte Sao, Jovanovic, Fellaini, Axel Witzel, Daniel Van Buiten. I'm not, I've not heard of Tayamata. Not heard of him. I'm going, oh, sorry, Pokes. Sorry, Pokes. Mandalorian, no, I'm saying it. I'm going to die on that hill, Pokes. Mandalorian is better than the original three. And it's written by, um, what's he called? John Favre? Is that his name? Pretty sure he had some cameo appearances in Friends. Uh, it's written by John Favre. It's very, very good. Uh, Jesse, thank you. There you go, Pokes. Are you reading this, Pokey? Are you reading it? Masterfully created. Thank you, Jesse. That's going on the DVD sleeve of The Mandalorian. We are having no accolades whatsoever, though. We're tied at nil-nil again. We need more. We do need more. I mean, as I said, I think we've had a tough start to the season. And we've gone a game and a half and not conceded a goal. So that is good. That's very, very positive. But we could do with nicking one now. Oh, Heathy. I'm not sure that was the option. Didn't have a man around him. He's hoofed it out of play. I'm not sure that was the call there, Heathy. Here we go. I believe in Maraclis. There we go. Oh, no. I thought we were going to counter. Come on, Harps. Oh, you've run it out for a corner yourself. Giving set pieces away there. Um, they've had more shots now. We're we're a tickle ahead on the XG. Sixty minutes, and we are not shooting here. Isaac, this this could be a data issue again. We're not taking any shots, and I'm tempted to change up the midfield. Isaac, I know. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. I'm going to change up the midfield and bring in a playmaker. LJ has had a miserable time again. McGlinchey has not played well as the ball winner. I'm freeing him up to go box to box. And I'm leaving Max as the deep line playmaker. Now, this boy can't tackle. So that is a risk. And I've done it to try and create a chance. And here he is. Okay, that's not the creative pass that he's in there to do. But we are breaking down the wing. Come on, Shex. Go at your man. Go on, take him on and then deliver. The big man's in there, Shex. The big man's in there. Two big men are in there. Oh. Levi's offside. Levi's offside. Come on. And now we're getting highlights. Come on, then. We've changed to a deep line playmaker and we've had a couple of highlights straight away. We're going down the wing. You know what's in the box. There's the big man. It's too far out, though. We're getting closed down out wide. And can't get good delivery in. But we've had five shots now. Four on target. Oh, Nathan Blissett. Oh, that's where we need Josh Andrews to come off the bench. He's not there. McGlinchey coming off. Sheck's doing well. Okadine has been booked. But I don't have... Well, I do have Kane Smith, I suppose. Okay, we'll do that. The versatility of Kane Smith can be a right winger, can be a right back. That's good. We kind of shut Oxford down a little in the second half, I think. He says, semi-worried as they throw a ball into the box. Henry hoovers it up, sends it long, bliss it in. Look for Shackleford now. Look for Shex. All right, do it yourself. Leave. Oh, Levi. Ah, oh, it's come off a defender. It's gone out for a corner. I thought that was hitting the back of the net. Still looking for our first goal of the season. Concerned? I'm not concerned. You're concerned. I'm a little concerned. Come on, then. Recycle it. Where's the width? Who's providing the width? Ferguson, the butler? No. 
That's got to be offside, isn't it? Yeah, got to be offside. Ten minutes to go. Ten minutes. Eight shots. Five on target. Second game running. We're not going to muster an XG above a one. Worried yet? I'm not worried. You're worried. I'm perfectly calm. Get the ball in, Shex. Okay. Get it out wide again. Recycle it out wide. Ah, uh, you're so offside, Levi. No one get excited. Levi is well off. I mean, yards here, I think. Yards. Ah, uh, <laughs> Gone a little early, Levi. I'm just, just questioning. Gone a little early there. Just a smidge. Ah, uh, is it going to be a second nil-niller of the season? I think it is, you know. I think it is. Then Perry. Unless we can create something very, very late. Very, very late. Oh, that's not a good enough ball. Checks. I mean, I'm very pleased with the way that we are playing. We're winning the ball back well. We look compact in our shape. Look at that. For the If you put Ocadina in there, that was the starting right back. That's good from the back five. Shex is looking good. Whoever we're having is the advance forward, LJ or Amanchi, they've not performed. It's the central midfield that I'm concerned about. Max Edwards Strayevsky did not have a great preseason at all. And he started this season with question marks against him, I would say. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm entirely happy with the midfield too. Anyway. Uh, so, oh, goodness me. You lot have been... Hang on. You lot have been busy. What's going on here? Uh, regular guy. Sorry. Favreau. Fav yeah. Hang on. Uh, that That's not... That's not... That, that's not just a me thing, is it? I would... I would go Favreau. Favreau, Brian. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. Am I right, by the way, Brian? Favreau was the cage fighter in Friends. Is that him? Is that him? Uh, gone again. Did I get kicked out of chat? Do I get... If I say... No, you don't got no game. It just means you've got all that joy ahead of you. Oh, here we go. Simon Tamahata also played for Ajax and Feyenoord. Dutch international. Don't remember him. Llama, do you mean episodes one to three or four to six with... You know, all right, Liam. Mandalorian is better than any Star Wars film made. Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, better. Alec Guinness. Who was Leia? What was Leia's name? Carrie Fisher, better. Mandalorian, better. Oh, that's a big statement. Big statement. Pokes. It is super good, but Pokes. Not sure it's better than the original. Pokes now, come on. You're letting nostalgia get in the way there. I understand the nostalgia. Um, uh, Mike Small, born in Birmingham, also played one season at Standard. Well done, Mike Small. True. Drew, Drew, I didn't even notice you wipe your shoes as you came in. So, so sneaky. So sneaky was your entrance there, Drew. Happy Friday to you. Are the Royals in action this weekend? Let us know who they've got. By the way, I'll try and play on a little to our next game. Gosport Borough 22nd. Uh, so never know. We might get our first goal of the season, Isaac. Yeah, just, just a couple of... Couple of couple of yards offside. Talis just had to blitz some housework. How have the games gone? Also think and wondered. So you've also had to think and wondered something. Talis, let's skip down then. Had me a think and wondered if there was a Scandinavian team that's won the Champions League. Only side you can think of there was was Mulmo. Um So Mulmo had uh Final against Nottingham Forest where Trevor Francis scored, I believe. I'm going to say IFK. I'm not Swedish, so I'll say Gothenburg. I think they pronounce it Jutteborg. I've got a feeling they've won the UEFA Cup. I'm going to throw that out there, Talis. I'm going to throw that out there. Uh, let's go. Great defensive display again. On, I tell you what, let's go. You are fabulous for morale. I like that because I'm questioning myself here. Let's go. 
I'm thinking, hmm, should we change the system because we're not scoring goals? And you're saying, no, we're doing well. Jesse, also looking forward to the new and final season. No, not final season, Jesse. Where are you hearing that? No. No, not final season. It goes on forever, doesn't it? There's no other reason for Apple TV without that. Uh, don't say final season. Let's not say. If the ratings are good, they'll make more, won't they? Got to make more. Um, by the way, the only thing I don't like about Ted Lasso is the terrible CGI game footage. It's like watching, you probably won't know this, but in the UK, um, we had a show on Sky in the 90s called, oh, Greeno, you're going you're gonna to know. What was it called? Harchester United. What was that called? Frank Patchum was the youth team manager. Sean and Dean. Oh, Greeno, you can help me. Dream team, Druism. Dream team. Got no game. Tailor made gaming. This is why we love a chat. Simon Thorne, you come to the rescue. Thank you. Yeah, it reminds me of the SGI from Dream Team where they were trying to pretend that the match highlights that they were showing weren't just from Leicester City games at the old Filbert Street where they just turned the blue shirts into purple shirts. That's what the kind of the match footage from... Uh, from Coach Lasso, or Ted Lasso, reminds me of. Very, very bad. Very, very bad. Uh, anyway, sorry. I get behind. Get behind. Jam thoughts. Don't know when you lot get chance to watch TV. Empty lives, Jay. What else is there to do? Uh, Smig, you're currently managing Borkham, who are predicted to finish 18th in the Bundesliga, and I'm really stuck on what to do with transfers. Uh, because there's no budget and nobody wants to join us. Well, Smig, I think your way out of that then is loans, isn't it? Use loan signings. I'm guessing if you're in your first season, by the way, the first season, Smig, is difficult to bring players in, especially on freeze. Because especially post-winter update, they, you know, they've all kind of moved to clubs in real life. In the summer, things will get easier. Lots of players will be out of contract. You can try and sign Bosman free transfer signing. So until then, try and get yourself some good loans in. So go to the big clubs around Europe, elsewhere in Germany, perhaps, or Serie A, La Liga, Premier League. Scout that team. Your coaches, coaches, your scouts will then bring you reports of players that might be willing to join you on loan. Hopefully, they'll pay the majority of their wages Bring them in, survive, rebuild in the summer. Glory, it was in within your grasp. Easy for me to say. Pokes, what was Dream Team? Come on, Pokes. You're probably a bit old to remember Dream Team, Pokes. It was on Sky in, the, I'm going to say it's probably not the 90s. It might have, was it 90s? Late 90s, early noughties. It was a little bit like a soap opera, but based around a Premier League's youth team. Who was the who was the the long haired one? Was he Carl Fletcher? Was that his name? And then Frank Block? No, something Block. Anyway, sorry, regular guy. The original plan for Lasso was only three seasons because Sudakis didn't want to spend so much time away from his kids. The rest of the folks are open to it, but it's his call. He knows it makes sense. Uh, Taylor made. I think there's Dream Team Database. The, the Harchester United did used to have some link-up, I think, with Sports Interactive. I do remember them being in the game. Yovalike and Terry Skivs was in Dream Team. Very nice. Has a TV show or movie ever had good in-game footage? Trying to think of some. Uh, Escape to Victory? But they weren't exactly playing in a stadium, I suppose. Um, not Goal. I tell you what, let's um, let's broaden that question out, Spencer. Has there ever been a good football film? Has there? I don't know. It's Drew, Lasso is actually filmed in Richmond, just down the road. I've been to a lot of the places in the program, which is pretty cool to have actually. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I once went to Chester and they were filming Hollyoaks. Not so cool, but still. Uh, we've got a few tired players for this game. So let's bring in Kane Smith for Shackleford. Blissett, drop out for Andrews. 
I'm, I want to give LJ another game because there's a player there. It's just a player that's averaging a 6.3 currently. But I know there's a player in there. He looked electric in preseason. We're going to need rabbits off the bench for Harper by the looks of it. Ferguson, you, you can get through the game at centre-back. You don't need to run much at centre-back. And we take on Gosport. Here we go. Uh, the brief Scandi chat got you thinking of teams that have won European trophies in the distant past that could be good for return to glory. Dino Tbilisi. Uh, looks for a Georgian database. Yeah. Uh, don't say any more, Greeno. You might be about to ruin a future Save Ideas video because I did mention this to Simon in the week. Um, can th oh, Sorry, can't think of any decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if we're just talking football films, you uh, Mike Bassett, yeah. Yeah, I'll give you that. Give you that. Bit of a giggle. Not a classic, but a bit of a giggle. Okay. Taking on Gosport Borough. They're in the relegation zone. Only two games played. And I say we need a win. We need a goal. What's the team talk going to be? Isaac saying, stick to the plan, stay patient, and we'll be fine. For me, that's code for nil-nil at half time. So... This is a match we should... Yeah. I'm going to jab my finger. This is a match we should be winning. Max likes it. This is the last chance for the midfield, I think. On their current roles. Before we make some changes. By the way, fairly determined. It wasn't great, was it? Wasn't Anna Friel in that as well? Of Brookside fame. Sure, Anna Friel was in that. Was she a nurse or a physio? I'll tell you. Well, pause the game. Pause the game. Sorry. Uh, good football films. Sean Bean, When Saturday Comes. There. There is a good football film. Sean Bean plays Jimmy Muir. There you go. Sean Bean's in it. It's all you need. I did not like, by the way. I didn't really like Sean Bean in Game of Thrones. Lost his head, I think he did. Lost his head. Didn't like Sean Bean in Game of Thrones. Anyway, we're into the game. Concentrate now, everybody. Concentrate. This is the serious part. This is me being serious. Here's Edwards. And we're... Oh, Andrews, no. Flick it on, son. You don't head it from the edge of the box. Flick it on, son. Goodman. Ferguson. Volley's it clear. Chase it down, LJ. Here we go. Now motor LJ. Come on. Give him something in behind. Harper does it all himself. Okay. Gone all the way back to the keeper. Henry hoovers it up. Heath. Here he goes. That's better. Okay. Take that back. It's terrible. It was the right idea. Horribly executed. Greavesy in goal. He's a saint of a goalkeeper. He really is. Andrews. He's, had, he's tried to play that ball three times now. He's pulled it off once. By the way, Isaac, if you're still with us, we might have a look at the amount of times he's giving the ball away. Uh, and he's going to go again. And he's going to go again. And he's gone and he's got it right. LJ, you're in, son. Now's your time. Oh! Yes. LJ. Oh, have a double. And I tell you what, Max has tried that ball four times. Oh, he's not make the keeper as well. Oh, that shaved his thigh. Oh, we're 1-0 up. We're 1-0 up. We scored a goal, people. We scored a goal. Goodman. He used to make Walkmans in the 90s, but now he's a footballer. McGlinchey. Are you going to have a go at little ball? No. Okay. Ocadina has, though. And, and Smithy. He's gone cross-field. Oh, he's got harps in. That's offside in there. Oh, okay. Ball didn't get to him. Rue. Rue? It's a funny name. Get it into the midfield. Drop it into the midfield. Now we go. Come on then. Now we play. What have we got? Oh, that's delicious. Oh. I tell you what. Max Edwards Stryevsky is having a much better game than he did in the first two. I like what he's doing today. Andrews. Oh, come on. Get up and challenge. And they're in behind. Cover him. Just cover him. 
Cover. Oh, well done. Well done, that man. Heath. Oh. Good defending. We're now going to be tracking Heath for the rest of the game. Can we get that off him? Oh, we can. We can. Daniela Westbrook sends in the corner. She's, she's got it back. Oh, is that a fat? Oh, no. Offside. Offside. No panic. Oh, the chat. Oh, the chat. Oh, sorry. The chat's going there. Are you responding to my uh, when Saturday comes? Are you dismissing that? We'll have a look at we'll have a look at half time. Ocadina, Ferguson, McGlinchy. Here he goes. Always oh, first timed it. And go on, son. Go on. You've ridden the tackle. And oh! I wrote him off after the first two games. He's just run over to the bench. Oh, he's come back roaring, hasn't he? LJ, Liam Jones. Oh, should have had a little bit more faith in him. Oh, this is a much better performance. Maybe we were up against two very good teams in the first game and we didn't concede to them. Andrews. We're giving Nathan Blissett a rest. That's at least a positive. He's not played well so far, has he? Ocadina. Go on, son. Have a little run. Go on. Can he deliver now? Oh, you can. Oh, Jeremy Beadle's back there. Oh, they've got a star-studded team. Gospel, haven't they? Daniela Westbrook. Satan Greavesy. They're all in. Tim Allen's there. What a lineup. What a lineup. And we're beating them 2-0 at Ocadina. What a challenge. Andrews. God, win something in the air. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, we've conceded. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's just a punt, isn't it? It's just a punt. I don't put pressure on the fullback, so we're vulnerable to the, to the fullbacks having time on the ball. I'm just, I'm going to have to say, I'm not sure there's anything I can do about that. Because I want to keep things compact. I don't want players herring off to press defenders. I'm not sure there's anything I could do about that. But if they get another one back, I will not be pleased. Jeremy Beadle goes all the way back. Saint and Greavesy. Daniela Westbrook's on the left wing as well, don't. Oh, that's offside. Tim Allen, that's offside. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, the tall man racing through. Okay, they've had one shot on target the entire game. That's led to a goal. We've still not got an XG of a one, even though we scored twice. 35 minutes, another highlight. Andrews, LJ. Oh, you've got to, got to play a better ball than that, Andrews. He's averaging a seven. I'm not sure how. I've not seen him do a thing right as of yet. Not a thing right, by the way. Hmm. Need a goal. Oh, he's still not challenging for headers. Where's Nathan Blissett? Come back, Nathan. That's better. Well done, Josh. Well done. And, oh, I thought he was going to pull the trigger on another one of those through balls. Here's LJ. Come on, LJ. Oh. He just wants to run in behind defences. It's a gift. Harps, don't take it on your right foot, Harps. All right, do. LJ, are you offside? Oh, I think he's just dabbed home a hat-trick. He has. Oh, I was praying Harper would not take this on his right foot because he doesn't have one. He does. Smacks it against the post. Three goals for LJ. Three and three now. Three and two and a half. Oh, now we're motoring. Now we're motoring. Pokes, I've just glanced over and seen that you're off. See ya, Pokesy. If you're streaming tonight, Pokes, I'll try, I'll try and pop by. Mad Scientist streaming as well tonight. Thoughtsy, are you live on a Friday as well? Ooh, got away with one. Okay, oh, hold on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I stroll back over. Look at the chat for a moment. Look at the chat. Hold on. <laughs> Who walks through the door when you're not looking? Official H2. Good evening, everybody. 
Official age two. Fabulous to see you. We've got other Canadians. Jesse. Jesse. Meet Humza. Humza. Meet Jesse. It's Canadian time. Uh, official age two, by the way, in the Football Manager playoffs last night. And, oh my goodness. Didn't he have a good draft? Looking good for Sunday. Um, wait while you're here, Humza. Great to see you. Um, when are you next streaming, Humza? That might be UK friendly. When's your next kind of like British timed stream? I did ask you to tag me in it, didn't I? But just for everybody there, when are you next streaming kind of UK-ish? Because I cannot recommend enough going and checking out Humza when he is streaming because he's one of the best out there. He's, he's Canadian. It's about two Oh, in about two hours. Hold on, Humza. Brace yourself. Incoming, incoming. There you go. So I tell you what, our evening plans are becoming finalised then because United City FM is live now. Uh, you called me lovey. Hey, I'm an absolute lovey. So we got me streaming. I'm finishing after this half. We can go over and watch a bit of Kev. Kev will take you through until Official H2 starts. Later on, we already know that we've got Mad Scientist starting a new save. It's all coming together, isn't it? Anyway, look, I've missed out on so many messages there. What have we said? Um, oh, sorry, I got you all. Oh, my God. I've, the first half of football here, you've been chatting away. Um, Greeno, football films, nothing beats Escape to Victory. Okay, let's go. Uh, I'm not saying that. Let's go. That's Red Star Belgrade, I think. I'm not saying Shonavena Zaveda. Uh, would also be a great candidate for a return to glory. Uh, you can see why I went with Red Star Belgrade. Uh, Simon Thornley. There was that TV series as a female. The, oh, God, that's going way back, isn't it? Over at the Nest Cafe adverts. Is that the one? Uh, Matt back. Pete Postlethwaite. <laughs> Matt, welcome in. Pete Postlethwaite. Late, great Pete Postlethwaite as coach. You've seen it, Matt. You know. Uh, a movie without Sean Bean dying is not a Sean Bean movie. Very good point. Sean, Mean Machine. Simon, Mr. Bean has worked out how to maximise his hourly rate. Uh, not Mr. Bean, Mr. Bean. Isaac, still here, holding your breath. Yeah, we're two, three, one up now. LJ's doing well. Uh, Mean Machine is brilliant. Isaac, phew. Official LJ. LJ. I think, are you right? I, I'm not sure I showed the faith. Humza, you say restoring my faith in him. I publicly doubted him before the game. I feel a little bit bad. Um, Isaac Lockett, I would take three clean sheets. Okay, we've kissed that one goodbye. Monkey in the Fog, he doesn't like to place it. No, no, he's hitting it like he means it every time. Simon Thornley, nice. Thrashing 5-1, playing the... What have I missed here, Simon? Are you talking about thrashing Birmingham 5-1? That's fighting talk. Uh, Jesse, that was a thing of beauty. Has Andrews on shoot left often? I think, Wolf, the problem is he's been out injured for most of pre-season and he's warming up. He's going to get back to form sooner or later. Liam, I'm on annual leave on Monday going football shirt shopping. Is that the pop-up shop, Liam? The What's it called? Saving football shirts or something? Talis, tempted to tell Andrews to place his shots because he's taking conversions. Sean cracks you up when he nails those free kicks. Fairly determined. Oh, sorry, fairly determined. You've probably been and gone by now, but thank you for stopping by. Um, Chow, determined. Oh, very continental, Simon. We like that. Um, so, yeah, official. I finally just got caught up there. Just a casual 14-goal thriller on a Thursday night. Just did other, Sorry, did the other Canadians see the wild score from the Dallas-Buffalo game? Are you... Is that... That's not soccer? Are you talking? Dallas Stars, Buffalo Sabres. Is that hockey? Is it? Don't know. Um... Sorry, Humza, as well. I think I've just got your Twitch stream playing in the background there. Apologies if you could hear that. Um, it's hockey. Humza, are you a hockey person then? Are you a kind of a a hockey kind of follower? It's got, I'm going to say it's, it's a sport I've never really followed. I try. In fact, I make a deliberate stance not to watch football 
Because I know that if I got sucked into football, that's it. I'm gone. I used to like basketball in the 90s. They used to show it on uh, on British television in the 90s. In the great Chicago Bulls era. I always liked the Indiana Pacers myself. Reggie Miller. So I like a bit of basketball. But yeah, hockey's life, is it, Jesse? I, I, I've I'm never... New Jersey have got a team, though, haven't they? Is it the New Jersey Devils? Humza casually follows along. Uh, but you don't uh, but don't know how. You've not been deported for not being... A, is it a big Canadian thing, is it? Uh, got no game. Celtics fan. Darren Taylor, American football is brilliant. Currently draft season. Detroit Lions, aren't you, Darren, if I remember rightly? I accused you of being a Millwall fan, and he said you like the Lions. Uh, what are we going to say? Don't allow complacency to keep it. Ah, oh, LJ... He's uncertain. What are you uncertain about, LJ? I wasn't speaking to you when I said, don't allow complacency to sneak in. I was talking to the back four primarily. Come on, LJ, it's all right. Here he is, Ferguson, the butler. Oh, no, no, no. Daniela Westbrook. What have you got planned here? Tim, oh, Tim Allen's at the near post. The tall man. He's a Detroit Lions fan as well, Darren. Tim the Tall Man Taylor. You probably don't understand that reference, and I apologise entirely. Not everybody here is as old as me. Harper. Oh, no, that's not the ball, Harps. Get it under control. Daniela Westbrook is pulling strings here. Here's Tim the Tall Man. Back to Saint and Greaves, eh? And Roo. Close down. Oh, no. Oh, that's our quick centre back there as well. Oh, goodness me, Henry. Hoovers it wise. Um, grunting sounds resound. Is that a home? Thank you, Humza. Thank you. It is a home improvements reference. Which you, ooh, just over the bar. You're no way old enough to remember home improvements, by the way. That was another late 90s favourite. Tea Time, Channel 4. Tim the Tall Man Taylor and his, who was his next door neighbour? Was it Wilson who you couldn't see over the fence? Daniela Westbrook and Tim Allen. I know, dangerous combination. We're on 60 minutes. If I see another highlight for Gosport, by the way, I'm changing things up. Because I feel like they're itching to get back into the game. We've given them the ball to help them with that. Can we win it back? There's the Tall Man. We've got it to Harps. Look right now, Harps. No, you're going on your own. Ah, oh, greedy. Greedy. Okay. 70 minutes. They're not having more highlights, so I'm comfortable. I thought they were about to come back into the game. Uh, I tell you what we're going to do. Josh Andrews off for Levi and Manchi. You're playing very well, but you're so tired. Oh, we said Vince Harper wouldn't get through a game. Let's get rabbit, 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 rabbits on. 20 minutes to see out. I'll take 3-1 right now. 4-1, I would prefer. But we'll take 3-1. Here's Kane Smith. Ocadina. Love this boy. Is LJ? Oh, no. Not a good enough ball. Talis, those centre-backs. Yes, those centre-backs look tired. Yes, they do. Oh, no. Where's the keeper going? Oh, dear, no. Oh, what? What a bit of decision-making there. What are you well, what are you thinking? Goes over the Where where woo. How are you thinking that this is yours to come and claim? At that point there, surely you bail out, don't you? You realize? Oh no. Oh dear. Henry. Oh dear, no. Ah, oh, sweeper keeper on defend gone mad there. Daniela Westbrook on the set plays again. We concede here. We could be in a spot of bother, you know. Monaghan. Okay, we've seen it out. Now get it away. Oh, the keeper. Okay, comes and claims it. And, well, what are you thinking there? Oh, dear. Rash. Okay, well, we got back onto it. LJ. Oh, dear. Look at all that space in the midfield as well. Okay, time to make changes. Time to make changes. Two, uh, space. Space, space, space. Don't like it. Don't like it. Soon as this highlight plays out, we've got to make some changes. Here we go. Come on then. 
Oh, that's passive. We got lucky to get that back. Oh, this is patchy. This is patchy. Levi, you're in. Oh, 4 1. I'm not sure we deserved a goal there, by the way. Not sure we deserved a goal there. Okay, let's see this game out then. So, LJ's doing fine. It's at the back where people quite rightly say we are very tired. We'll get Ferguson off. And we're going to do this with Levi to close up that massive amount of space. So, uh, press mark tighter, tackle harder, and who can you sit on top of? Daniela Westbrook. Thank you. Confirm that. Let's see it out. Okay. Um, Wilson Rook. Thank you. It was Wilson. Centre backs look tired. Daniela Westbrook has to be a wide player. Can't. Greeno. Very good. Uh, GT, if you've already left, thank you for dropping by. Absolute hero. Um, Sean. Yes, Sean gets it. Very nice. Um, got no game gets it. Thank you very much. Um, always watch the playoffs. Do you like a bit of Stanley Cup playoffs, do you, Humza? By the way, Humza, if we drop by in a couple of hours' time, who are we going to see you streaming with? You were in Sweden, if I remember rightly. Are you still... What are you doing here, son? That's better. Are you still in Sweden or have you got another save on the go? I know last time I was in your stream, you're actually managing a Canadian side, but I'm sure I saw on Twitter that you'd, you'd moved to the Swedish lower leagues now. And you know I'm a sucker for a Scandinavian, Scandinavian lower league save. As we all are, I guess. Does anybody else feel like this game's not done? Jones. Okay, oh, we're in. Oh, we're in. Oh, we've hit five. Oh... I think I think we can say we've found our shooting boots now. LJ comes deep, and uh, this is Edwards, at least his second assist. I would say. Hold on, let's pause everything. Comes a the daytime streams, so your that's your daytime, so that we can watch it, isn't it? South American journeyman, you scoundrel! Really, currently in Peru with. Um, with, um, let's call them the scientists, shall we? Nighttime, you're still in Sweden. Well, look, I have caught your Swedish stream before, so you must be live sometimes at night when I'm still up. Oh, fabulous that you're streaming UK time. So I'm going to, I'm going to be popping along later, Humza, popping along. And we have got ourselves a 5-1 victory. Nice work, everybody. That was good. I'd love to see a glimpse of a table to finish us off. Come on. 10th. Okay, well, it's not glorious, but unbeaten. Only conceded one goal in three games. I'm going to say... <coughs> that is a good afternoon's work. We're not shipping goals for fun anymore, so that is good. Let's go, I believe. Uh, yes, I did do a hockey stream. Game is never done. Uh, it's done now. It's done now. Uh, Matt, you you need some accountability. Can you all please recommend a regional first division side for your newest save? I'm too indecisive. Regional first division side. I'm not sure what country you're talking, Matt. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I tell you what, Matt, if you're on Twitter or if you're in the manager's seat Discord, tag me. And we will chat. Rook, always a pleasure. Humza, you're a gent for stopping by. Let's hope you all have a fabulous, fabulous weekend, as I'm sure you will. If your team is in action, I hope that they win. We will catch up on Monday and find out how everybody's club have done. We're probably going to play a few more games offline because I am in love with managing Kingstonian right now. And by the time we come back on Monday, we will see whether things are still going well or whether yet again... It's all fallen apart.